like, oh man. That song's called Four More Weeks by a band called Vans in Japan. I like it. Um, I made myself a pimento cheese, extra sharp cheddar cheese, and tomato sandwich for breakfast. Now I'm having my veggie, ta veggie tables with a spicy hot V8. Linda and I had, we went, and I had to put gas in my van. We went to Arbuckle Mountain Fried Pies. Uh, we, uh, we then went and I filmed over at Fun Valley. The lake's filling and it is gorgeous how they, uh, they, slope the banks. Now, I used my mini camera, uh, if I can find it, what did I do? Oh, there it is. I used this to uh, film me filming the where they did the sloping and if it turns out that's fine, but I'm gonna do a short with from that. The other one you're not going to see for a while because I'm waiting until Monday or Tuesday when the water's pouring over the va the dam, and uh, then I'm going to film that. Then I'm going to string string it dry, mostly full and full full with water going over the dam. String it together, put music on it and then put closed captions on it explaining what's going on. Um, that is going on the Adventure Site channel. I've not yet loaded anything on it. I intend to. Uh, Linda and I then went by and looked at the 19 goats that Jerry has over at Buffalo Gap where his 12 cabins are. Linda traded him two goats for one. She's got his one goat over here and he's got her two goats over there. And I stay out of it. They're the critter folks. <laughs> Jerry's Bubba and Linda's my sweetheart. My two favorite people in the world basically. Well, two of my favorite. Linda and then my kids and grandkids, but you know what I mean. Uh, I've got the AC on in here, took my hearing aid out, um, I've got to pick Bo up. I asked Linda if she wanted me to drive through the creek to get to the other side. Do you know how deep that is? And I said, yeah, up to just over my hood. No! Well, I've driven through worse than my fan. I'm just not going to do it with her in a truck. Uh, especially if it's stalled out while we're in the middle of the creek and then she's gonna ah, you know my god I love that girl so much I do she she makes my world go round she really does hand is really giving me fits a friend of mine gave me some special ointment that does have uh, THC in it and I applied that last night and it made it stop working but uh, stop hurting. I had to put a stress glove on today. Uh, there's nothing surgery could do for that. It is strictly skeletal fate failure in my hand. I've had too much damage to it and I'll keep it going as long as I can. Um, there's just a ton of stuff that I should be doing today and I'm not. I'm not working on my consulting project until Monday. Today's Friday. Fridays are brutally rough on me normally and today I'm trying to make it as pleasant on myself and others as I can. And then uh, I'll uh, attend to everything that I should, quote unquote, whew, excuse me, be attending to. I will do that uh, when uh, 
when I'm going to explain something real quick that many people don't understand. This is a psychological trick if you're self-employed. Uh, I keep my business physically separate from my home. Okay, now my house is, as the crow flies, about 20 feet through that wall that way to my home. But there is a physical separation between this building and that that building. That's something I figured out early in life. I've always had a side hustle and uh, I always kept my side hustle separate from my regular job and I kept both of them, I tried to, separate from my home life in my house, our home life. Wasn't always successful doing that and my family paid a premium for me being the way I was and, and working in the field I chose to work in and it made it rough on them. I won't lie about that but I'm not that guy anymore and uh, Linda is very thankful. I'm very thankful I'm not that guy anymore and there's her hens cackling out there. Gotta get another sip. Last night I limited myself to two episodes of Star Wars or Star Wars the Clone Wars, the cartoon. I actually got to bed about one o'clock. Um, the same man that gave me the ointment for my hand, I will not say his name, I don't want to get him in trouble. He's a good friend of mine. He came by. Ooh, let's fix that. He came by. Uh, came by this morning about 7:20 to check on me. He hadn't seen me in, in a few days. He'd missed me at the restaurant and elsewhere. And like I explained to Linda, yes, he does love me. She said, I know he does. We've been friends since he was young. I'm considerably older than he is, but I've known him since he was a kid. And uh, he's a good guy. Not a lot of people like him. I do. Um, he has a tendency to get on some folks' nerves. He doesn't get on mine. He's just someone that has a lot to say and if an individual would take time to listen to what he's saying they would figure it out. I f firmly suspect that he's autistic. Higher functioning Asperger's. But he's a uh, he's a good friend. Well um, I got two herbal teas out of, excuse me, out of the fridge. That's one of the problems with hot and spicy stuff that I drink. It uh, starts making me hiccup, so I have to chase it with a little water, and I just did that. Um, well, Nicholas and Brandon are at work. Chris is at his house. Benjamin is probably napping temporarily. He, his son, Tigger, is a little ill. And they're both probably in Benjamin's house snoozing, which there's no problem with him doing that. Uh, I'm in here doing the vlog and I'm going to upload it and then do some other video stuff. I'll do the vlog before I, I uh, do anything else. Uh, tomorrow we're going to look pretty hard at 
doing whatever we've got to do to get Linda's car where it's tuned up and, and is fine. Um, now, I have not looked at head headlines today. I was getting ready to say headaches, and that's basically what they are. I just, uh, it's wearisome, it's tiresome looking at what the mainstream media and the alternative media puts out every day. They just keep the pot stirred. And right now, I need some downtime from all that, and I just imagine you do too. Now to my buddy Chris in Florida, I hope you're doing okay, I really do. Uh, someone told me it's going to be storming out there. I haven't looked at the weather service either. I, and to my buddy Monty in Lone Grove, America, I hope you're doing okay. To Mom and John in Noble Oklahoma, I hope you're doing okay. I'm praying for you and I love you. love all of you. To my brother Michael up in Oklahoma City, I hope you're doing okay. Well, um, to Shell Dion, I hope you are doing well in Illinois. Still praying for your mom. Praying for you and yours. To my sister Randy up in Edmond, America, I hope you and your husband and your family are doing well. I'm still praying for you and I love y'all. And to my buddy David Talaga in Illinois, I hope you're doing well. I really do. Uh, and I'm praying for you, Bubba. And to Jackie Brill Sands, S-A-N-D-S. I'm still praying for you and yours. I hope you are all doing well. Folks, that's pretty much it. I'm going to... Getting ready to check on out of here. And like that sign right there says, be kind. Just be kind. Love all of you. God bless you. And bye.